Here we are today, May 15th, Thursday. It's uh, 9.30 in the morning. We're at Route 61 in Deer Park, Pennsylvania. The boys are setting up. WTS 2000. We're going to decant this pond as a demonstration for the Pennsylvania DEP. The water's actually receded some since uh, we were here last. As you can see, we just simply pull up to the pond and level a unit. That's the same phases we're at right now. So a portable system right here. Drove up with the truck. And getting the system leveled up. Ten more in the next uh, month or so. Because they have such a, a small area of, uh, of real estate to actually put stuff. It would have to be, it would have to be blown away with the frack industry. You must well, be up in the in that tier of it. We're, okay. we're sticking with job sites right now. <laughs> you know what I mean? Fracking and fracking water is an entirely different scenario. You know? Wow. It really is. It's really impressive. What was the other end like that? Right there. Oh, wow. Has it came to here yet? Yeah, it started. And then by the time it leaves, it's don't realize there's one more process to go through. And then by the time it gets to the end, the real test is coming out the effluent of the pipe. Okay. You know? Wow. That's a, that's a noticeable difference. What's the You said this right now, I apologize. Not at all, like Stephanie. Like, how long can you treat, or, or how much sediment, like, can you remove per one chamber like, or unit? Run? This could run. We've run this, we've run this eight hours. Uh, you know, we run it for a full day without having to stop it. And if I could say something else, when these chambers here get really filled up with, with clay or dirt, it acts as a better filter. It starts filtering the, running it like a sand filter. In other words, it starts to, to coagulate against itself. You know how you run sand and it'll bundle up? When we did a test at Rutgers with red clay, this whole thing was mounded up with red clay and red dirt, you know? It was act and more when the dirt hit it, it was kind of sticking to it. You know what I mean? The next, so the more it's like the more stuff you put in, the better it works. And we run it for an eight-hour shift without having to clean it. And when it does clean it, it's most most of the hit is taken on the top tray. So you dump the top tray out, put the top tray back on, and the thing is, like Kerr was saying, it's easy for maintenance. You pull it up, you run it, you discharge it, you clean up the sand. It's totally green. There's no replaceable filters, so you don't nothing going to the job site. You don't need a backhoe to come in and take out the bladder bag. It's easy for the contractors to use. You saw we hook it up, you hook it down, you, you drain it, which we'll show you in a couple minutes. We'll show you how it drains. Can he, can he stir that up for us? Huh? Can he stir that? Sure. Up? Mike, can we stir it up a little more? Oh, he's doing that now. Yeah. A little hot. Like you want to get, get down over here. Don't jump down from over there. <laughs> it's really hot. Is this the, uh, you make different sizes? And that's it. Bad, better, best. So it's all we. And you can see about it, how clear that is. That'll run like it'll run like that all day long. Of course, we're dumping it back into the pond, which is no help. But uh, actually, it is helping the test a little bit because it's stirring things up. Yeah, in the good. Some, I couldn't keep. I don't think Mike wanted to stay in the pond, but <laughs> you can't blame him. But it, it'll. But then you know this compared to what's coming out of the bag over there. Oops, sorry. Mike, um, 
His name is Bill. Smile on your face. Yeah, but look. Chocolatey coming up, you can see it. Yeah, you can see it laying. Comes right there. through. And trouble is, it'll fill up. Top side like this, you can't run this for more than a day. You know what I mean? You're not going to be able to run it for more than a day. Then the clay is going to take it out. So what do you tell your con? And you know what the contractor is going to do. The same thing they do by us. Not that you ever heard it from me. They take a knife, they cut the bottom. <laughs> yeah, they all do all kinds of stuff. You know what I mean? I was just wondering if oh, there any specs on the bag. No. It's a, uh, I got it from LL Tech. I tried to buy the best one we could because we were going to do a side-by-side -side test on my, that's why I actually had this in the shop. On uh, Actually, Dr. Quo suggested we do a side-by-side -side test for flow rate. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because... We can get into a heavy, and here it is. You can see how much darker with the second, clearer into the third, and of course, much clearer coming out the other side. Let me go down and take a picture of that. Huh? Huh? Oh, yeah? Good. Between us, we got plenty of pictures. Yeah, by all that, we're coming out here, we touch the first, second, and here it is, coming out at the end. Mike, pull that up. And that's a far cry from what went in. As you can see here, oh, okay. we've correct, now, Oh, no. Look at this, and that's out of that fine, you know what I mean? You saw the water out front, yeah. you know what I mean? And there, I'm sure. thank, thank you, Mike. I'll wash my hands off me. Okay. I have some down here as well. But now on a job site, the, the top tray would take the biggest hit. You know what I mean? Uh -huh. That's why, as you can see by this trays, how filled they are, Mark. If you just empty those top trays, if say you're going to leave it here for a week or whatever, uh -huh. just keep dumping the top trays every night. It'll work fine. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Top trays. And this is this is what I said about the directionality. If you, these aren't here, the water just comes and runs down the wall. See, these, these shelves force the water this way. They force the water that way. You know what I mean? Force the water under, and then under this hard to carbon wall, up into this loop, and into the next chamber. Are at the end of the test. The proof is individual. Here's the clay, here's the pond, and it, how you can see how much it's stirred up uh, from the pumping. You can see it's gone all the way over to here. How hard it is to get this clay out, and despite how hard it is, this is the results here. And after this big truck, nope. okay. 